This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Hall versus Rosignol. You all are engaged. You met at a house party, but now your house is in complete disarray because of allegations of cheating. Mr. Hall, tell me why you brought your case. Well, I have a lot of suspicions that she's been cheating on me for, I would think, for about a year. And if you find out she is cheating, what's gonna happen with your relationship? I think the best thing to do is to separate. So you're gonna be done? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. All right, Ms. Rosano, why are you here? First of all, let me just back this train on up just a little bit, all okay? Right. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, yeah, <laughs> beep, beep, beep is right. Every day for the past entire year, I have been accused nonstop. You know the definition of insanity? It's literally asking the same question over and over and over again, expecting a different result. As soon as I hit the door at the house, it's, have you been alone? Have you used the bathroom at my mom's house? I can't use the bathroom by myself. You know, it's... So it's, you've been living like this for a year? A year. A year of being I think constantly... that's his own insanity right there. Right. <laughs> right. So since you've been living that way, what are you here to prove today? That I am not cheating on him and that I love him. And you still love him in spite yes, of all this? despite everything. I love him to death. I would give my last breath for him. You know? I hear the pain that you've been going through in your voice. Tell him about that. I'm so sick of it. I can't deal with it anymore. I can't deal with constantly being accused of sleeping with everyone every day. I go to work for us. I come home for us. You know, I do dishes, I cook, I clean. I take care of the animals, I take care of you. I do your laundry, I do everything for you. And it hurts my heart that you constantly hurt me. Kyla, what we have here is complete turmoil. She is in her feelings and hurt because he's accusing her and he's saying, I don't want to do it, but I can't help myself. I got all these signs and I can't help but ask you over and over and over again the same question. Yeah, I get that. Let me ask this. What was it like in the beginning when you two met? Oh, uh, man, it was great. You know, we met at a party. Uh, we hit it off, you know. I was looking at her from the, from the room away, like, dang, she's beautiful. And uh, we were... Were you, were you scared to go over or you just stepped right to her? I just stepped right to her. Oh, <laughs> that's, how, that's how you do it. I just stepped right to her. And look at the but, smile to go with yeah. it. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> and we hit it off. A few months later, we moved in with each other and... And once you got to know her, what did you like about her? She's it? my angel, man. She made my life better. She... Man, I, I didn't have nothing. I didn't have my own house. I didn't have my own car. I didn't even have a license. I didn't even have a job. She literally made me do everything. I've got my own house now. I got my own car. She, I she mean... She's made you a better man. Got my own job, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah hey. So, Ms. Yeah. Rosenau, you saw something across the hall, across the way. What did you see? His smile. The way he smiled, the way the lights twinkled in his eyes, you know? It was kind of like a little fairy tale at first, you know? It really was. I, I fell completely in love with him, completely, from the get-go. You know, I was three hours away doing a phone, phone relationship. So, it was long a long-distance relationship. Yes. Yes, it was. And uh, <laughs> he definitely, you know, I moved in. He definitely got me. <laughs> so, what was it like when he asked you to marry? Magical. Tell me about that. I was, I was begging him, you know, I like this ring. I want this ring. You know, just showing him pictures of rings, kind of throwing hints, like... So th those are hints, <laughs> yeah. baby. That's, yeah. that's like a rock. Yeah. So, that, that loud noise he was hearing was all those hints being dropped. <laughs> boom, boom. And, uh, yeah, yeah. And, Mr. Hall, you I thought want... you'd found exactly what you were looking for. Oh, yes, sir. He... But now you believe your future wife is cheating on you. Yes, sir. Tell me why. We were, uh, we were sitting there. She was doing dishes and, uh, cooking, and I was browning some meat. And her phone rings, and I pick it up, and I'm like, I'm like, hello, and there's some dude I've never heard before, never met, you know, and, uh, he proceeds to tell me that he's doing all these things to my old lady and how... And, uh... Doing what kind of things to your old lady? Sexual intercourse, you know. Your old lady is... S uh... Okay. okay. All uh, right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and, I appreciate uh, you being yeah. respectful. I do. Oral activity. Yes, yes, okay. sir. And, uh, I was... You know, I was shocked. You know, I didn't believe him. I called him on his... And, uh... And until he started describing the inside of my house. Oh. And, like... Because I, I said... Describe I don't it in how? You, you 
dude. And he says, I know how your bathroom looks. He started describing my living room, my bathroom, my uh, laundry room, uh, my front porch. I mean, I was looking at her like, how does, how does he have your number and how, how does he know all this? Well, this who, who was person... this calling, and why is this person able to describe in great detail the, the inside of your house, let alone the sexual activity with you? Who is this person? This is actually uh, some dude that is mutual friends with Zachary. Well, his mama takes people in, takes people in, like takes care of them when they're homeless, when they don't have food, when they don't have anything. She takes care of them. That's the kind of woman she is. So she's brought these people in here that know exactly how this house is. So and you're saying that the people in question, that it wasn't because they were with you, sleeping with you, yes. it's because they've been to the house because of him yes. or because they know his mother. Yes. And Ms. Ross, you, know, you deny yes. that you had any kind of sexual activity? I have no idea. No idea. Mr. Hall, is there anybody in particular you believe that she's cheating with? I mean, I got messages from exes, like, hey, beautiful, how's your morning? Um, so where did you find these messages? On her phone. So they're talking badly about bad, you in the messages? Bad, bad, and, and this is her ex she's talking yes. to? Yes. So she is going to her ex, talking badly about her current boyfriend, which is you. Yeah, and we were just split up at the time. And you submitted to the court your recollection of what you saw. Hey, beautiful, how was your day? Why are you with him? You can do so much better. He's not good enough for you. Stuff like that. Yeah. When you saw this, what went through your mind? Ow. Miss Rosenau, why would you do that? I'm really getting fed up right now. This man has had lists of girls he has told he cares but more we're not and here more. About him. We're here about you. And my question to you is, why, why were you contacting your ex and talking about your fiance to him? That's the question. Especially because he talks to me like crap to my face, calls me a whore, calls me fat, calls me names constantly. All right, Mr. Hall, are you calling her fat? I've, no, I said that out of anger, and I've really, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. I've never meant them horrible words. People say things they don't mean all the time. Well, okay, look. But I really don't mean that. Mr. Hall, here's the thing, you cannot say things to your wife, to your future wife, to your girlfriend that you can't take back. When you say those kinds of things, they're hurtful. Yes, now, sir. we've been together a long time, over 35, almost 36 years. And one of the rules that we have is we never call each other out of our names. I never called her a B word or any other kind of word. You see, I'm sitting here, right? Yes, sir. So yeah, I never called anything like that because I wouldn't be sitting here. Yeah. But you cannot do that. You've got to treat her like the queen she is. If you want this woman to be your wife, So, Mr. Hall, do you have any other reasons why you believe your girlfriend is cheating on you? Yeah, I got a diagram I can show you. Okay. Okay, would you step to the uh, diagram, please? Yes, sir. All right, tell us what we're looking at. All right, here's my, this is a diagram of our old house. Okay. And, uh, you know, we were split up for about maybe a few days, and I wanted to come apologize and get back together and just say how much I'm sorry. I step on the porch, I hear movement, I look in the window, okay. and I see the curtain, and it flings, you know what I'm saying? I see it fling. So I'm like, oh, hell no. So I kick the door in. And so just kick the door in. I kick the door in, I run in, and uh, I'm running this way, and boom, here she is right here, and here I am, and uh, she's like, trying to, like, it looks like trying to block me, but I'm not thinking about this room, you know? This room, I'm not thinking about. So I shoot this way, you know, thinking of old boys in there, he's gonna run through the back in all the woods. That's what I would do. I've done some stupid stuff to myself. <laughs> uh, but... So you run past her. Run past her to the back door over here, back porch. So I looked all back here, so I come back around to the front, and then I see this white little Toyota pull off on the side of the street. Now, was okay. it just pulling off like somebody was going to work or pulling off like somebody's getting out of there? Pulling off like somebody's getting out of there off the side of the street. Okay. 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 So it wasn't parked in front of your house, it was parked on the side street. Of course, yeah, I wouldn't park in front of my house either. <laughs> and this window right here that I think, oh buddy, they were in here. She, oh, keep in mind, she didn't have, she, all she had on was panties. When, right. As I was coming in there. Correction, oh. panties and a t-shirt because there was only one AC. It was the middle of summer, you're kidding. Okay. 
But uh, did you ever see the guy in no, or on the house property? No, ma'am. I was going everywhere. And oh, checking out. So, so, so she's standing there in her underwear. Yeah. All right, so what does she do when you kick the door in? Because I know I would have been jumping like, what? Yeah. Let me... <laughs> I was fed up with it all. I had broken up with him. I paid for everything for this house. You know, this house was mine. So all of a sudden, I hear this bang, bang, you know? And I look out the bathroom, and here he comes running, running down the hallway. So I body slam him against the hallway. <laughs> you, you, okay. You kind of check block him. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because he's going crazy. Like, why are you in my house? First of all, I just broke up with you. But Anyways, I... so he starts screaming at me, saying that there's this dude in the back bedroom next to the bathroom, and I'm blocking the door, and he's running out the back porch, looking underneath the house, you know, in the woods. I mean, going to the extreme. So you're convinced that she was cheating? Yeah. And you're convinced that it was the guy in the Toyota? Yeah, white Toyota. Well, Ms. Rossi, no, I see you brought a witness with you. Yes, I have. Okay, ma'am, would you stand, please? All right, and for the court record, tell us your name, please. My name is Leanne Dingler, and I'm Zachary's mother. Okay. You're Mr. Hall's mother. Yes. You're Mr. Hall's mother, but you're here as a witness for Ms. Rosignol. Yes, sir. All right, that's unexpected. Good. Tell us what you know about this relationship. It's been a mess for a long time. Um, they've been at each other for a long time about this cheating thing. Is Jordan cheating? No, <laughs> she's not cheating. Uh, that was what, what she I was She is thinking. always with either me, or another family member, or with Zach. Uh, she, she doesn't have an opportunity to cheat. Uh, and I've tried to get him to think about it sensibly. You know, if you just think about it sensibly, there's no room to cheat. But I mean, he, he's gotta know, he's gotta know that, you know, so, even though you're my son, You've got to get your stuff together. You've got a good girl, and she's not going to be here forever if you keep doing this to her. All right, thank you, Ms. Dingo. You can thank you so much. Seat, yes, Your Honor. Well, I think we have enough testimony, love. All right, what we got? Talk well, to me. Okay, Mr. Hall claims he received a phone call from an unknown man claiming that Ms. Rosignol is, in fact, having sex with other guys. Mm -hmm. He found text messages between her and her ex downplaying him. And then Mr. Hall claims he caught her. He caught Ms. Rosignol helping her lover get out of the house. And she denies all of that. She denies all of it. So Mr. Hall said if he finds out that she's cheating, then the relationship is gonna be over. That's right. right. Well, this court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court will call a licensed polygraph examiner and former special agent to the FBI, Kendall Scholl, to determine, is she cheating? <laughs> now, please escort Mr. Scholl into the courtroom. Kendall Scholl. We're going to go over to the witness stand. How are you, sir? Great, Your Honor. How are you? We're good. It's good to see you, good sir. Good to see you, sir. You conducted a polygraph examination of Ms. Rosignol. Is that correct? I did, Your Honor. You asked Ms. Rosignol, on the day Mr. Hall found you at home in your underwear, did you have physical sexual contact with another person? What was her response to that question? She said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that she was being... The lie detector determined that she was being... truthful, Your Honor. All right. You asked Ms. Rosignol, since you moved in with Mr. Hall, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than Mr. Hall? What was her response? She said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that she was being truthful, Your Honor. <laughs> I see the tears in your eyes. What do those represent? Sorry. It's okay. I just don't want to hear no more accusations, no more nothing. You won't. I went to this extreme. I don't want to hear it no more. Mr. Cutler? Yes? You know, we got kids their age. Yes? I want you to talk to him like you would talk to one of ours about this behavior. You all are just starting out in your relationship. This should be the best time of your lives. Mm. This is not a time for false accusations or you're being insecure about her cheating. This is a time where you need to cherish her and make her feel like she wants to spend the rest of her life with you and you want to spend the rest of your life with her. And Ms. Rosignol, 
it sounds like you have been trying to do the things that you should do to make this relationship work. I, I have. <laughs> But there's a couple things that we I heard need to work on. I need, you need to work, to work on. on. Yes, I, I completely understand. <laughs> and and so keep the ex out the picture. Yes. And he clearly needs a little extra, what I call not attention, but intention. You all are dating. You've been together for seven years. And I noticed from the court papers that Ms. Power, you're 18 years older than Mr. Van Gale. But Mr. Van Gell, you're concerned. This relationship is on rocky ground right now, and you're trying to see where it's going, and it depends on what happens here today. Is that right? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, you've opened this case. Tell us why. Because I believe my uh, cougar is on the prowl. Oh. Ah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, she disappears. Uh, we used to have sex all the time, like, pow, 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 pow. <laughs> now, <laughs> it's my sex. Cougar disappears, okay. leaving the cub behind. Oh! <laughs> oh. He, he's uh. got a, he got a million of them, Mr. Cutler. I so. see that. So, <laughs> when you say there's been a decrease in the sex, is it, oh, is no it sex. less, is it less pow or, oh, you know, no, what are you? No, nothing. Uh, no, no, nothing. No, 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 power nothing. no power at all. Nothing at all. Okay. I forgot what sex was even like. Oh! Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's been that long. Yes, it has. It's been oh. that long. Yes. And so you think, okay, if she's not pounding with oh, you... Pounding with another cub. Oh. Oh. Okay, do you really have to do the pow pow part? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> I can't with you. All right, Miss Powell. Yes. Oh, no, not yes, Miss Powell. Powell. <laughs> yeah, Miss <You're> Powell. <laughs> <right. laughs> All right. Oh, I, yes. Behave. All right. Miss Powell. Yes, yes, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Van Gaal says that he thinks you're on the prowl and he's saying, y'all have not had sex. He's forgotten what it's like. Is this true? Are you all not having sex? Has he forgotten what it's like? Well, it is true that we rarely get intimate anymore, but uh, it has a lot to do with how he treats me and all these accusations. It doesn't make you very romantic. Okay, so it's not because you're having sex with somebody else? No, it's because... absolutely not. All right. that, you know, it's a, it's a, a feeling you, that you have when you feel loved and you want to give it back. When you don't feel it, they're not giving it to you and it's accusations, unfounded accusations, you, you don't feel romantic. Well, so, you know, they say that intimacy starts here. Absolutely. So if your mind ain't right, you can't get your body right. Absolutely. All right, so you're saying it has nothing to do with cheating, it's the relationship that's keeping you from wanting to pile. Yes, yeah, that's... <laughs> Well, Your Honor, I beg to differ. It's when you disappear all hours of day and night and you don't tell your, your partner where you're at. So okay, so what does that look I, I like? Feel right that, I feel that that, if I can interject... No, hold on, hold, hold on. on. Let me get some info. You say she disappears. Disappears. What, 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 what that, do you mean? Uh, well, for example, uh, I'm renovating my house and she said that she was going to go do gardening. The little pet time passes by. I go outside. Uh, no Kelly. Where's she at? Where's Kelly? Can't even get her on the phone. She wanted, the phone goes straight to voicemail. So I, I decided to go, proceed to go back inside the house, and I'll leave it be, okay? This is just another Houdini act of hers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... So, so uh, did she come back? Yeah, she came back smelling <laughs> liquor and sex. Oh. oh. Smelling like liquor uh, and sex? combination, uh, liquor and sex. So she's obviously was having sex and drinking. Ew. Miss Powell. <laughs> Yes, Your Honor. Where does one go gardening where the result of that is smelling like liquor and sex? Um, well, I, I uh, talked to my neighbor across the street. I, I knew him before I met uh, Chachi. I call him Chachi. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I just spoke with him for a little while. You know, he's our neighbor. Um, nothing wrong with knowing your neighbors. Oh, that's he... good. Too friendly. Well, uh, unless it's knowing in the biblical sense, then that's a yeah, little different. That would be wrong. Knowing and I would your neighbor. Do that. Well, hold on, Ms. Powell, let me ask this, because you've given a valid explanation as to why you came back smelling like liquor. What I haven't heard is an explanation of why you came back smelling like sex. Well, maybe it's been so long he forgot what sex smells uh, like. I have not forgotten what sex <laughs> smells like. Oh, uh, and okay. then, uh, for example, too, mm -hmm. she, she, we get a phone call, well, she does, at 1.30, 2 in the morning. Her son, obviously, this is what I'm getting told, was in an accident, a motorcycle accident. And she has to leave immediately. I remember Absolutely. when I got phone calls at 2 in the morning years ago before we got into a relationship, mm -hmm. what time it was. She, and uh, I asked her for a little bit of proof. Okay, let me see a picture of how he's doing if he's all road rash eating up. So, nothing. She can't even send me a simple text picture or nothing. Hey. 
Okay, so in your mind, that late that, night that phone call, all, yeah. that late night phone call, to, in your mind means one thing. Yes, sir. Yes, Your Honor. What's that one thing? Ring. Hello. Hey, what, what you doing? Um, nothing. Really? Yeah. What? What's can, up? Can I slide by? <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta slide? Ew. <laughs> All right, I'll be there at about 30. All right. All right, bet. Are you here then? Yeah, I can't pretty good. <laughs> so is that the kind of conversation you thought was going on? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, yeah. You know, here's the funny thing. No phone call, no nothing. She's gone a week. And I... A no, week? And no contact with you during no this week? No contact for a whole seven days. Not a when text? She did, not a text. Not no a phone nothing. call? Nothing. And when she did, it was twice. And she was whispering the first time, said, oh, I got to go. I don't have time to talk to you. Miss Powell. Yes, it was an EMS called me, 1.30 in the morning, said, are you the mother of? And I said, I am. And they said, this is EMS. Your son's been in a motorcycle accident. We're on the way to the hospital. Immediately, as a mother, Absolutely. bring tears to my eyes now. Yeah. And it was very serious. And so I immediately went to his aid and... ICU. He was in ICU. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go downstairs to, in front of the hospital, take a picture so you can see that I'm at the hospital. That should never happen. Let me get this straight. From your perspective, you're there caring for your son. Mr. Van Gale is calling and saying, what you doing? Who you doing? Yeah, what you yeah. doing? What you doing? You're like, I'm not. I don't want to do this. Mm -hmm. I've got to get all my energy on, on my this. Son, yes. Mr. Van Gale, were you calling saying, what are you doing? What are you doing? Were you that, texting that, her saying that, too? No, no, Your Honor. I was at, went to work every day of that Under week, oath. continued uh, my routine. I was just simply uh, uh, trying to find out if her son's okay and also if she's really where she says she is because she already pulled the Houdini Act. And, and now uh, I don't what? even know who she is. She sleeps I... with her phone, and I have evidence of that, too. And... I do. Everything. Okay, I so do. what about the phone now? If she sleeps with the phone. She got the, uh, two different types of locks on. What do you mean she sleeps with the phone? I mean, she... Well, I brought the evidence and a picture of... Uh, okay. Actually, Would you get that, you. please? Yes, sir. Here you go. Thank you, you took a picture okay. of me with my phone? <laughs> you said she's... Well, <laughs> okay. Well... Okay. Well... So this is her asleep in bed, and in her hand is her cell phone. Uh, yes, Your Honor. And it's definitely not me in her hand. So was this a one-time thing? You know, sometimes somebody might fall asleep with their phone. Is this, this is a every day, every night thing. All right, Miss yep. Powell, is this true? You this sleep is, with the this, phone? This is true. I do sleep with it. Maybe not so close. Well, maybe. But ever since that happened with my son, and I'm 100 miles away from him, and um, I needed to be able to, to get a... Get, for him to get in touch with me. Well, Mr. Van Gale, ha have you found anything that oh. makes you think she's cheating? Uh, yes, Your Honor. I actually, I put evidence in that folder up there of a hotel key. Uh, so, I, okay. I see that. Where did you and, find uh, it and how did you find it? I was cleaning out our vehicle because I was getting ready to go leave to go do a job. And, and I, when you say our vehicle, the vehicle you and she share? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, you are the only two that really drive it? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Me, so I'm cleaning out the front, getting ready to load up, get myself loaded up, and get down the road. So I promptly see something sticking out from the floor mat, and it was a hotel key. Okay. So I know we're not going to hotels together. I haven't been at a hotel. All right. So, Miss Powell, have you been at a hotel? No, I have not. But we, you know, it's a cargo van. It's a work van, and I haul a lot of things. Also, you know, we we scrap, we pick up, uh, move things for people, and it could have been anybody's. Honestly, it is not mine at all. So you have There's not been at a hotel secret. with another no. man? No, but Mr. I have not. I think it's embellished. She's embellishing a lot. Not okay. that way. So, Mr. Van Gale, she says, you, she says you are embellishing. So, we talked about what you've seen and what you found. Has anybody told you they've seen her or anything like that? Uh, I have my witness here, uh, actually. All right, okay, ma'am, would you... you step over? Take a step behind the podium, please. And tell us your name, please, for the record. Jasmine Mueller. Okay. Ms. Mueller, what is your relationship to Mr. Van Gale and Ms. Powell? He is my boyfriend's oldest brother, and I recently, like, lived with them. Okay, so you were living with Mr. Van Gale and Ms. Powell? Correct. Okay, all right. Did you and Ms. Powell ever have any discussions about her relationships? Yes. Okay, definitely. tell me about that. 
She told me that she is changing her van into a camper to live in it and has plans to leave Thomas. She told you this? Yep. Did she ever tell you that she had cheated on him? Yes, Your Honor. She did? What did she say? She said she is dating a black guy and she is putting other men on the back burner. So she's dating this one man and she's putting all other men on the black on the back, back burner. burner? Yep. Was that a slip of the tongue? <laughs> what am I gonna do with you? I, I wish I could have been that clever. Okay. Uh -huh. She's put all other men on the back burner and she's going with yes, this one man. Yes, Your Honor. Oh my God. S Mr. Mr. Van Gill, okay. did you know all this? No, I did not until I was informed when they uh, proceeded to leave the, my residence. He was back. kicking her them uh, out when she decided to come up with this information. I never said that to her. Well, Ms. Mueller, she says you just said that out of spite because you all were being put out. Is that true? No, Your Honor. She begged me not to say anything. But when she turned Honey, against me... Honey, I wouldn't me, beg hold you on, Ms. for hold anything. Hold on, Miss Powell. Ms. Powell, hold on. When she turned against me and started her crap the way she did, I told him everything that she begged me not to say. Oh. So you, you were like, I'm gonna do the right thing and tell my boyfriend's brother what's really going down here. Yes, I did do As the right thing, and I told him. As suitcases out the door. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, Ms. Mueller, have a seat, please. I think we've heard enough. This court has done a full and a complete investigation. At this time, the court will call a certified forensic digital consultant, Patrick Seward, to determine, is she cheating? Ron, please escort Mr. Seward in. Seward. Good day, sir. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. Good. Would you state your credentials, please, for the court? Uh, I am a certified digital forensic consultant uh, with 15 years in law enforcement experience and five of those years conducting high-tech criminal investigations. What did you do to investigate this case? Uh, I conducted a full forensic examination on Ms. Powell's phone. Um, the examination can recover pictures and videos and text messages, including those that have been deleted. Uh, the task was to uncover any evidence that Ms. Powell may have been cheating. And did you find any evidence that leads you to believe that Ms. Powell is cheating? Uh, I did not recover anything related to cheating. However, I did recover an interesting conversation between uh, Ms. Powell and a friend discuss discussing how she felt about a relationship with Mr. Van Gell. Okay. And it wasn't good. And this is what you recovered from her phone? Correct. And Ms. Powell writes, I even have taken out the passenger seat so maybe he will get the hint. I don't even want him to ride with me anywhere. Hmm. And this was... Yeah. Very recent. Very recent. Yes. All right. And you wrote this. I did. I am, I am so tired of... He's not fun to be around anymore. It's the constant bickering. It's, you know, and, and, you know, quite frankly, if he doesn't stop, I don't want him to ride with me. To further investigate this case, we ordered Ms. Powell to take a lie detector test. At this time, the court would like to call certified polygraph examiner Michael Williams. Ron, please escort him in. Mr. Williams, so you did a polygraph examination of Ms. Powell, is that correct? That's correct. All right. You asked Ms. Powell, have you had sexual intercourse at a hotel with another man since being in relationship with Mr. Van Gale? What was her response? Your Honor, she said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined she was being deceptive. That's, I have, I'm, that's not true. I knew it. I knew it. Gut instinct. Uh, you know what I got? I have gut not. Gut instinct's always right. All right, Mr. Van Gale. I can tell that you are angry. Oh, I'm more than angry. He should be because All right. I, I didn't well, let's get, it. let's get to the oh, next didn't question. No, I didn't do it. Lie. All right, let's see what question number two. Mr. Williams, you asked Ms. Powell, did you have sexual intercourse with someone when you said you were visiting your son after his accident? What was her response? Your Honor, she said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined she was being deceptive. <laughs> I knew it. I don't see how it's so easy for you to stand there and still continue to lie. 
You don't have enough respect for me to tell me to my face? Mr. Van Gaal, you came here to get answers, and now you have those answers. The polygraph determined that she has been with somebody else. So now that you have those answers, what do you want to do with this relationship? I'm done. I'm glad to hear you say that. <laughs> and, Mr. Van Gaal, I mean, you shouldn't feel any, any remorse or regret. Yes, you're sad that this relationship is coming to an end because you've been together for all these years. But here's the thing. There is no use holding on to somebody who's already let go of you. Right. Amen. See, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. And so, yes, it hurts. Yes, it's a hard pill to swallow. The accusations are not going to stop because you can't trust her now. No. And if you can't trust her, this relationship is not going anywhere.